All right, guys, by the title of this video, you already know what we're doing. We're going to go hit some bench press over at Bryson's. But before that, we got a lot to do. You're about to see it. Let's get rolling. Come on. Oh. Where are we going? Where the heck are we on? First watch? No, we gotta show them the new spot. Oh, we're going to Awake, boys. We just found a new spot. It is called Awake. Parker, you are looking sleepy. I just need some coffee and I'll wake up. I need to be awake. Thank you. Roll it. All right, ladies and gents, in the morning time, you're feeling a little bit tired. You gotta just listen to the great 21 Savage. And you gotta feel violent like the man Shaler back there. Violent. Let's go, baby. Woo. All right, we've made it to awake. Feeling a little bit weak. It's time to fuel up and it's time to get strong. You don't get any water, Shaler. In the last vlog, Shaler and I were telling jokes at breakfast. We were. I want to hear your best joke. Why did the orange stop in the middle of the road? Why? Because it ran out of juice. That was actually a pretty good one. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, I've got another one. I just thought of this. Why did the pedestrian get hit by the car? Why? Because it didn't see the car coming. You're welcome. I honestly don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. Because <laughs> he didn't see the car coming. That's how he got hit. That's not a joke. <laughs> it's just funny because he got hit. <laughs> Oh, on another note, I did hit a pedestrian a month ago driving, and he was okay, thankfully. Let's eat some breakfast. Parker, did um, you enjoy your food? Oh, yeah, I mean, we got here three minutes ago, and it's already gone, and I have to order round two. That was phenomenal. All right, off to the next spot, wherever that is. Okay, we got changed up in the house really quick. It is really loud over here. But we're going to head to the golf course. We're going to get some practice in because we need to practice. Golf game can always get better, so we're going to see you guys at the golf course. Yeah, we'll see you all there. This is where I want to be, nah, nah, nah. never, ever going to leave. I've been getting a lot of questions down in the comment section about kind of how I practice on the range. And for a lot of you guys, especially for you guys that are just starting out and just, just trying to get better at the game, yes, I would worry about a target, but the first thing that is key that I think would be really beneficial for all of you guys that are practicing out here on the range is literally just trying to make good contact every time. Because if you're worried about ball direction, hitting a draw, hitting a fade, all that stuff before you even figure out how to hit the ball solid, you're gonna end up struggling a lot more. Hitting the ball solid is honestly like the best way of tightening your shot dispersion and then you'll kind of start to figure out your tendencies like all right this is this is what I felt here that's why I pulled it this is what I felt here this is why I pushed it because for me I'm kind of a feel player I can feel it like that okay that's what that feels like whenever I pushed it that's what I felt whenever I pulled it so honestly consistently hitting the ball well will fix a lot of your problems 91 degrees, the real feel is now 103, and we are all I'm sweating buckets out here. I'm wearing a hoodie. It feels You're like just 100 degrees. I know. I don't know why you did that. Can we get out of here? <laughs> it's, it's literally a sauna. You're wearing a hoodie. I know. All right, let's go. Oh, that's enough practice. We're out of here. <laughs> Alright guys, back in the car. We're heading down the highway right now because we are on our way to Bryson DeChambeau's house. But first, we gotta pick up our meal. We're going to Pot Belly. You gotta love Pot Belly because it carbs you up. We're about to hit bench press hard. Bunch of banded stuff with my friend Nick. Y'all seen Nick in some previous videos. He's the world record holder for bench press. He set the record whenever he was 18 years old at 165 pounds. He bench pressed 401 pounds. So the dude is an animal. So he's gonna teach us how to be an animal. But first, we gotta get some growth. Cute girl in that car. Okay, go get going. a number right now. Parker, go do it. Oh my Parker, God. go do it. Fine. Parker I'm found fine. a cute girl and he wants her number. Fine. He said no. <laughs> she was not what I thought she was from what I could tell from the road. And she said she already had a boyfriend. And I was like, well, can't you have two? <laughs> well, What'd I you thought say? she was like 19 or 20, but she was like 30. So. <laughs> I guarantee that girl has never had anything like that happen to her. All right, let's go get food. All right. Ready? Yes, sir. Let's get it. Parker, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Are you a little sad about your incident there? What incident? I already forgot about, about it. Dude, that it's is the mindset the I need in my life. Just forget about all the BS and just move on. I like that, Parker. Let's I go like lift some weights. I like the color. Thank God he didn't go red. <laughs> New view Nick, baby. Ready to get it. Bench day, baby. All right, guys. We made it in the gym. We're here with my good buddy, Nick. 
former world record holder. We're gonna hit some bench press today. We've already kind of warmed up on a few sets. We've got a 25 on the bar, and then we got a dumbbell attached. This is still somewhat of a warm up. Nick, why do we have a dumbbell attached? It's gonna add a lot more resistance, and then Hogan's, we need to focus, build a more strength on his stabilizer muscles, stabilizer muscles in his front delts and his shoulders, so we can increase his bench press max, but also it's been translating to his golf swing as well. So we're excited to just keep adding more resistance, trigger different muscle groups, keep getting them stronger, keep driving the ball further. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit this. We're gonna continue to work up. We're gonna work up to a one rep, aren't we? Yeah. So we're gonna work up to a one rep max on this. This is still gonna be a warm up rep. I've done this one other time. We're always switching it up on the bench press. Like I said, we're gonna work up to a one rep max, see what I can do. I'm feeling good. It's hot outside, we're sweating, we're loose, we're firing. Yeah, that's definitely a little bit different. I feel like the weight is just going all over the place. Here we got Nick, he's about to hit it. With the dumbbell swinging all over the place, you definitely have to control it. And it's definitely working on your front delt, which is gonna be a stabilizer for the bench press, which is huge. We'll go another 25, yeah. we'll do another 25 pounds, and we'll add another set of dumbbells. Gotcha. Okay, since we didn't have an extra set of 25s, we just slapped 45s on the inside, put the dumbbells back on, so. So we just went up 40 pounds total, an yeah. extra 20 pounds on each side. All right, we're going singles already. It's just gonna be nice and controlled. Yeah, I mean, this is just gonna hit my stabilizers hard. Can't really be too jerky with it, right? Cause then the dumbbells will bounce. So let's hit it. We got a long way to go from here. We're gonna add 35 pound dumbbells. So we're gonna have a total of, what's 65 times two, 130? We're gonna have 130 pounds of dumbbells repelling, not including the straight weight. It looks goofy, but it works, I promise. And also, psychologically, not really knowing how much weight is on the bar helps me in a way. You just gotta push it. Come on, Nick. Nice. Look who has arrived. Nick, you wanna give him a spot? Woo! All right, that's good. Hey, that's good. Hey, are we trying to see who can lift more? No, no, I'm just no? trained. Bryson's already out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we went up another 50 pounds. Pretty good job. Nick the same. We stripped it, then we put more weight back on, then we stripped it, put more weight back on, and now we're here. That felt good. Felt nice. God, that was so fast. Nice. It's heavy. It's heavy. degrees out here in Dallas. It went from like 50 yesterday to 100 today. Guys, like I said, I'm not even gonna try and calculate how much weight is on this bar. I just have to push it. Cause whenever I start thinking numbers and I'm like, oh. Lock in your lats, rip the bar, control the weight on the way down. But you gotta explode. You gotta start attacking this weight. Down and up, down and up. Lock out, lock out, lock out, push, 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 push. Lock it out. Nice job. Oh my god, that's so heavy. It's an extra 40 pounds. Woo! Hey, thanks for embarrassing me. Dude's a beast. Alright, we're going for it, baby. Oh! Come on. Attack for it. Down it up. Push, push, push! Nice. That was good. Let's go! Going up. Going up the weight, baby. Rip the bar in half. Down it up. Push, push, push. Down it up. Come on. Push, push, push. 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 Push! Oh. Dude, 10 pounds makes a huge difference. I only added five pounds on each side. It was that much harder. I feel like the last one went up pretty easily. What are we trying to get? 60? 60? 60 sounds like my eight iron. Dude, this is vibes. This is vibes. Getting a workout with Nick, we walk out here, we see some ball speed training. It's just, it's pretty much everything we do all in one place. Come on, 60. There you go. We're gonna go straight from you hitting 60 to Nick bench pressing like 350 pounds. Oh, 30. 59. 59. That's not bad. Straight from Bryce's 159 ball speed to, I don't even know what's on the bar right here, but he's gonna hit it. This is easily 350 pounds of free weight. And then there's yeah, a bunch of- Two, three. Come on, get it. Drive. Oh my gosh, that's so easy. Let's go, baby. Another one rep, baby. Down and up, down and up, down and up. Push, lock it push, up, lock it push. up. Hell yeah. Yeah, that one felt good. I hit that one right in the perfect groove on my chest. You're gonna max out at 325. Flip that, we're gonna see. I'm telling you, he's gonna do 325 by 4th of July. The part I struggle on is getting the weight from here to lockout. My triceps are definitely a little weak, so that's what we're gonna strengthen. You got 162? 
61. Oh! 63, baby. Are you feeling fast? I'm feeling fat. Dude. Oh my that, god. That stuff might have actually helped. You're swinging faster. Come on. You're too consistent. 62. Oh my god. All right, we're going to come check back in on you, Bryson. So we're going to put the bar on the rack and work on the upper range of the bench press. Pick yourself up and drive through the bench. There you go. Good. Two more. Two more. Pick yourself up and drive through the bench. There you, there you go. Good. Dude. 165 with a 7 iron. It's not bad. Not bad. That's, that's nice. That's like you. I mean, I'm probably 166, but. Don't <laughs> get me riled up. Hey, Bryson can't lift this. Oh, Come on. Back to the bench. Lock it out. Hold it at the top. Hold it. Hold. <laughs> All right. Two one more. Do one more. Hold it at the top. Lock it out. Hold three, two, one. Lock. Drop it. Good. That's getting mad at the way. That's scary. You don't want to mess with him. Drive through the bench. There you go. Two more. Two more. Lock it out. Lock it out. Hold it. Hold it. Good. One more. One more. One more. Come on. Lock it out, lock it out. Push. Push. Hold three, two, one. Drop it. Oh. oh, it was all you, Parker. This is that sticky point. Yeah. That you have to start learning how to fight through. Yeah. Come on. God, that's way too light. What I would do, the bench like that, would be nice. Lock it out, lock it out. Go. Come on. Hold it. Lock it out, lock it out. Three, three, two, one. Drop it. That amount of weight, narrow grip, but Nick's going to make it look easy. Come on, Nick. Get it. That's some big stuff right there. All right, to continue with the triceps, doing explosive band and push downs. We're going for a total of 100. However many sets it takes. Get it. thought you were gonna attack me have you ever looked at the moon and it looks like a dinosaur with its mouth open yeah i've gotten that too it, it kind of like looks like a rabbit why do we never see the other side of the moon anyway guys it is way late about 11 we're doing this outro a little late really hope you guys enjoy this sort of vlog style of video if you do leave a comment leave a like i really enjoy hearing y'all's feedback it helps me out a lot and also most importantly hit that subscribe button because we want to see y'all in the next video peace Thank you.